Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And we wanted to shoot this quick live video to discuss our topic of the evening, which is how to leverage the internet to get you quality prospects. Now, what we're doing is not bashing, we're not bashing the traditional methods no. of online of network marketing. We, we don't want to do that because we believe that a lot of people are very successful in using the traditional techniques. Now, by traditional techniques, we mean things like having parties at your home to meet people, meeting people in the supermarket, at the gas station, in the shopping mall, yeah. bringing, getting, inviting people to your meetings. That's all well and good. But what we wanted to focus on this evening was a way to gain quality prospects, not just using a shotgun approach, but a way to, to, to save you time, save you money, and uh, help to make your business more profitable. What do you think about that, Victoria? Well, first and foremost, I want to say hi to everybody out there, mm. and that ultimately, at the end of the day, when you're network marketing and building your business, you're going to have to talk with people. And you're going to have to keep working on building those relationships. We're not saying stop having relate. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to have a less part of network marketing. You're going to have to communicate and talk with people and perhaps pick up a phone. You're going to have to. So we're not advocating quit doing your network marketing and stop it all together and just do everything online. You still got to talk with people. What I am saying, though, and hear me, is that this is going to give you a higher grade a grade A, a top of the line, classier, more targeted niche of a contact. So in other words, instead of just having a contact, now you've got a more juicier, meatier, solid contact. You get it? So in other words, the difference in a person not doing online versus a person who's just strictly just network marketing and doing the three foot rule and talking to everybody and anybody and Aunt Susie and Uncle John is that this is going to waste as much of your time. It takes a little time, but you're going to get in the ultimate, you're going to get a quality lead. You're going to get a quality person that is a little bit more in your niche that you can talk to, that's going to listen to you and be on the same vibe and wavelength as you. You get it? So if you value your time, and I know you do, and your time is important because you've got children, marriage, family, job, activities, life, then you would want to do this because for a person who's busy, you want to have and maximize your time and have the most highest quality of a, of a lead versus just having a lead. Yeah. yeah. You want to have a quality lead, not just a lead. It's, it's like huge it's, difference. It's, it's like you are in this big house with 300 rooms and you know, there are three, there are 300 doors you have to go to and what if I told you in advance that if you went to door 32, 24, 15, and 10, that those were people who were already interested Ooh. in the type of product or the type of Save business you, you have to offer? Yes. So your choice. You <laughs> can go to all 300 rooms. Knock and yourself kn out. Knock on every door. Where or... nobody wants to have it or they don't even there to answer the door. It's a lot. That's a lot of wasted time. Or just knock on the doors where you know people are already interested. It's no guarantee that they're going to say yes to your product or that they're going to say yes to your business. But guess what? Over time, the averages are going to be higher. The percentages are proven and it's documented. Yeah. And it's definitely documented. The numbers yeah, are there. Yeah. So, so you're going to have to talk to people. Mm -hmm. But here you have a person here you're talking to. Nah, 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 nah. They don't hear anything you're saying mm -hmm. because you're, you're not talking their talk. They're they not interested. They're not interested. Hmm. Versus you're talking to someone who's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me more. Give me more information. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What else? Mm. How does this work? Mm -hmm. It's a huge. I, I don't know about you, but I'd rather talk to someone who's at least open minded to at least listen to what I have to say mm. versus talking to someone who's totally closed minded, yep. who doesn't care and doesn't give a flip about what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically what we just wanted to say or share yeah, with you tonight. Yeah, that's basically yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, that's the best icebreaker you can have as someone who's already interested. That's you know? right. That's right. That's you, right. Know? you know, you don't have to break the ice if there's no ice there. How about if they're warm already, you know? 
And so that's what we want to do. We want to give you a way to get contacts who are already warm mm -hmm. to the subject matter you have to offer. Like we said, you've got to still have that relationship and build that relationship just like you've always done in network marketing. That hasn't changed. Let's not get it twisted. You still have to talk with people. Mm -hmm. The difference is you're talking to a willing participant, perhaps, more so than talking to a person who you should not have even wasted 15 seconds talking to. That could have been, you could have used that to spend time with your family, read a book or watch TV. Because you're wasting your time twisting somebody's arm, trying to push them into something, and they don't want to be in it. They're not looking for it. That is right. not even their cup of tea. Right. Well, you know, and you know, as Victoria is saying, uh, it doesn't guarantee that they're going to buy from you because ultimately people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. But here's the thing. They're, they're more likely to know, like, and trust you if you have something in common with them. And if you already are offering something that they want, then the difference can be your personality and, and having that contact with them. So this is not something that happens just totally automatically. You do have to step in and make that interaction. You, you want to have a one-on-one -on -one contact it could either be via a telephone call, mm -hmm. uh, it could be via a video chat. Uh, those tend to be more effective than just using Messenger. Now, Messenger can be a way to get a conversation started, mm -hmm. but Gotta start you, somewhere. you want to intercede, you want to get yourself in there so that they can get to know you as an individual. Know you. And know your sincerity, know that you're an authentic person, that's and right. know that you have their best interest at heart. That's what makes the difference. And so that's our quick message for this evening. With that, this is Eric and Victoria Duncanson. Hope you're having a great evening. We're here uh, Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, hope you're having a great evening. If not, let's make it a great one. And remember, excellence always prevails.